Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to continue working with fractions, and today we're going to learn how to write fractions out as words. Because now we've learned the basics in the last section of how to write a fraction down in terms of numbers, now we probably should get a little practice with how do you write them out in words, because a lot of times in your problems, in your word problems, everything will be written out in terms of words. So let's get a little bit of practice with that today. Um, what if you had the fraction one half. This is a fraction I know you've all seen and it, what it means is if you cut something into two pieces and you only take one of those pieces away that represents one half. How do you write it down in terms of words? Well one half is written like this. One, the number one, and then half. So you write that down as one half. So if you have one half of a gallon of milk or one half of a candy bar or whatever that's the way that you would write that down. Now what if we had, as another fraction, this fraction here. One out of three pieces. So here I chop a pizza into three pieces and I only take one of these pieces away and give it to a friend. That fraction is, is written here on the board. How do we write that down? That's called one third. One, because it's from the top, that's one piece that I'm giving it. And out of three pieces you write that as third. So this is one third of a pizza or one third of a pie. All right. Now let's go here and say what if we have this fraction here? Three out of four pieces. This means I chop a piece of wood into four equal pieces. I take three of those pieces and give it to a friend and the fraction of that wood that I'm giving to my friend is written as three from the top. Out of four pieces you write it as fourths. So you should see a pattern by now. The first thing you write down is what the top thing is, right? So three here, one here, one here. The second part is basically what the bottom is. So four turns into fourths, three turns into third, and two turns into half like that. All right, let's go ahead and move on and say, what if we have two out of seven pieces? How would you write that down in terms of English? Well, you have two pieces that I'm giving out of seven, so you write that as two and you have seven pizzas, so it's sevenths. So seven is here, the th uh, implies that it's a fraction. So two sevenths sounds just like two fourths that comes from four. And then finally, the last little example we'll do here, what if you had something like 10 pieces out of 19? I know it looks like a crazy fraction, but it's very possible I could chop a pizza up into 19 equal slices, and then I give 10 of those slices to my friend. So if I do that, what fraction would I write down in a book or in a paper? I would write down that I gave him 10 because that's the top, 19 because that's the bottom, 19. So 10, 19. And the way you read it is exactly what we're representing with the math. 10 pieces out of 19, that's what it means. So again, to recap, fractions is just a way for you to write down when you have less than one of something. If you have less of one of something, then you are chopping it up to an, into an equal number of pieces and you're giving so many of those pieces, that's the quantity you're representing, that's what you're giving to a friend or that's what you're putting in the bank or that's something. So if you have, for instance, if you have three quarters of a pizza or three fourths of a pizza, this can also be uh, written as three quarters because four can, can go and mean quarter also, but three fourths is typically how you'll write it. If I have three fourths of a pizza in the fridge, what it means is I have less than one pizza. I only have three pizzas out of four pizza slices that I originally chopped up. So that's what these fractions are. So make sure you understand how to take these um, fractions and write them out in terms of words. Make sure you understand that concept. Do these yourself and then go follow me on to the next section where we will continue working with fractions and learning how to understand them and work with them and build our confidence.